knocking on my fucking door with some bullshit for five minutes. At 5.01, I'm getting in that ass. It's 5.01 with Jordan Kurtz. Jake Paul versus Anderson Spider Silva in a boxing match is now official. The problem child is officially set to take on the spider in what will certainly be the stiffest test of his young career in a pay-per-view bout that will be in the main event on October 29th at the Gila Arena in Phoenix, Arizona. Now, Paul's most valuable promotions will be the ones hosting the event, so you know what that's probably going to entail with the Jake Paul event. Probably going to have Amanda Serrano on the card, a few of the other people that he's been promoting all along. Events and the tickets are going to go on sale up or for September 14th on that card. It will also air on the Showtime pay-per-view platform. Now, the novelty and the allure of Jake Paul's boxing career against the internet celebrities is over. And that's all based on the success in his performances, the progression of his skills, and his media presence in the process. At large, the people want to see Jake Paul get tested in action. Now, yes, I totally understand the counter argument that Jake has knocked out two former MMA world champions, but let's be real. Ben Askren took that fight just weeks removed from major hip surgery, and he was known for how sorely he was lacking in the striking department. And for Tyron, yeah, he had a big right hand. That was about it, and he was known for his lack of activity within his fights in the process, and we certainly cannot sit here and act like Tyron was some sort of master technician of the pugilistic science. It's just the facts. As much as I love Tyron, at his base, he was a wrestler who was Ben's collegiate teammate at Mizzou. It's just the facts, folks. And also, if we want to couple that with something in relation to Jake Paul, they were both much smaller. To this day, the former UFC champion Anderson Silva is still widely regarded as one of the greatest strikers in MMA history who sits atop of many of people's Mount Rushmore list. And those statements are certainly subjective. But what's objective is that Anderson still has the record for the longest win streak in UFC history, along with 23 knockouts and two knockouts in professional boxing bouts. Boxing is definitely different from MMA. I'm not trying to say that they are exactly the same by any means, but Anderson has beat real boxers like Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. in this process and in his last performance against Bruno Machado that was beautiful Tito Ortiz is far from a boxer understand that but Anderson did exactly what he was supposed to do against him and he knocked him out cold the major concern here for Anderson is that he is no spring chicken at 47 years old now Father Time is undefeated, and it's biased against no one. It's natural science that you are not able to take a shot in your 40s after having wars upon wars, getting knocked out a couple of times, as you were when you were a spry spring chicken when you were in your 20s, the way that he was able just to almost be like Neo in the Matrix. You know, think back to that performance against Forrest Griffin where he just seemed to perfectly evade off of anything that Forrest offered and was able to knock him out with that jab. Now, it's also easier for the lights to go out, again, like we say, if they've already been put out before. Anderson was separated from consciousness when he lost his belt and ended that historic 16-fight streak in the UFC against Chris Weidman. He was also TKO'd in his last fight exiting the UFC against Uriah Hall. Anderson is the fight that we have all wanted to see Jake Paul take from the moment that he started calling out MMA fighters. Anderson Silva is also a real fighter with real striking experience in the specialist realm of striking itself, who just so happens to match up with Jake Paul in the size department. Mind you, Anderson was the UFC champion at 185 pounds. Jake's been fighting roughly in that 190 to 200 pound range. Anderson is also no stranger to fighting showmen as he had his most notorious rivalry with Chael P. Sonnen. He will need that thick skin in this situation with Jake Paul because we know that in a Jake Paul fight, it is more than just the action that is going on in the squared circle. 
everything is going to come out into the light and he's going to go after you for it. We all want to see Anderson Silva get paid. We just don't want to see Anderson Silva end up being one of those unfortunate internet memes. And that is 501 for the day. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like, share, and subscribe button. That helps us continue to produce this original MMA content and bring it for you every single week. Tune in to the MMA plug presented by DenverSportsBetting.com on 98.1 FM, Mile High Sports Radio on Wednesday nights from 6 to 7 p.m. Or live stream at DenverSportsBetting.com slash radio.